Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by. So today I'll be talking about the silver Indian uh, rupee coins uh, issued in the 1800s, uh, specifically uh, these uh, one rupee coins from 1835 uh, issued by the East India Company. But before I do that, I'd like to give a shout out to Glenn at Gumadi uh, Coins and Banknotes. Uh, Glenn has a fantastic uh, YouTube channel uh, which discusses, uh, among many topics, uh, world coins and banknotes, coin noodling, as well as uh, our coin collecting hobby in general. Uh, he had asked to see uh, my Indian rupee coins, so Glenn, uh, this video is for you. I'll leave a link uh, to his channel uh, in the description text uh, below, so go and have a look at his uh, extensive uh, video collection. Also, uh, please give me a like uh, if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So uh, let's uh, get into it. So just a little backstory on the East India Company or EIC. Uh, the EIC was formed for the purpose of trade in the Indian Ocean region and eventually accounted for half of the world's trade in the mid 1700s and early 1800s. Uh, the EIC was given a royal charter by Queen Elizabeth I, which gave it trade monopoly over its territories. Uh, trade was conducted using uh, various coinage uh, struck by the EIC before uniform coinage uh, was introduced for all British territories from 1835 to 1858. The currency was uh, generally known as the East India Company Rupee or Mohu, and the two one rupee coins were dated uh, 1835, which are the ones that I have here, and 1840, which I'll be doing on my next video. Uh, the EIC continued to issue coins until the Indian Rebellion of 1857 to 1858, uh, following which the administration of British territories was transferred to the British Crown and circulating coins were minted under the direct authority of the Crown. Now, the coins that I have here all have the effigy of uh, King William IV by William Wyon on the office and the legend uh, East India Company on the reverse. They all have a face value of uh, 1 rupee and they all have the date of 1835, although they were minted uh, between 1835 to 1840. There are some coins that were dated 1840 uh, but those coins are rare. Now these coins here were minted in 0.917 uh, uh, silver. They have a weight of 11.66 uh, grams, a diameter of generally around 30 and a half uh, millimeter. They all have a reeded edge and a thickness of uh, approximately uh, 1.9 millimeter. In general, the 1835 uh, 1 rupee silver coin has uh, three uh, major varieties. Uh, this variety can be seen on the truncation of the neck of the king on the office of the coin. Uh, within these varieties, there are some differences in the dies, and I'll point that out to you as I show you the coins uh, individually. So the first variety I have here to show you has no min mark on the truncation of the neck on the portrait of the king. can see that. Now the one rupee coins uh, without min mark indicates that this coin uh, was minted at the Bombay Min and sources online uh, shows that the mintage number was approximately uh, 53 million. Uh, you can see uh, on the obverse uh, the portrait of uh, King William IV uh, by William Wyon and the legend here uh, William the fourth uh, king. Again, uh, this coin has a reeded edge. And on the reverse, we will see the legend uh, East India Company, the face value of uh, one rupee, and here the writing in Urdu, which also uh, means uh, one rupee. 
and the year of issue, uh, 1835. All the uh, 1835 coins will have a dot here uh, next to the year of issue. As you can see uh, on the 2x2 two two holder, I've indicated the differences that you can see on this coin. So I'm going to point it up to you. So the first difference here, which I indicate as mud, can be seen over here. Uh, these two leaves here. So this coin has a two leaf design instead of a three leaf which you see on the next two coin. The second difference is uh, the reef. Uh, the distance between the two reef here is wide. Uh, they are not touching. And the uh, difference here for the end down here for this coin, the end is further away from the rim. Uh, usually the measurement is about 2 mm. The other coins will have a closer a gap of about 1 mm. And the final one, uh, this coin has uh, 19 uh, berries. So if you count the berries here, all these berries, there will be 10 berries on this reef and 9 on this side. Okay. The second variety here has the F min mark on the truncation of the neck. Hope you can see that. I'll try to get the camera to focus. The F min mark here uh, indicates that this coin was minted at the Calcutta Mint. Uh, the mintage number for this coin uh, includes the third coin that I'm going to show you. Uh, both coins are together, has a mintage of approximately uh, 93 million. For this variety, we have uh, two different uh, types. We have the Incuse F, which is this coin here, and another coin which has the Raise F, which uh, unfortunately I do not have to show you. Other than the min mark, uh, the other designs here on the obverse uh, remains unchanged. Again, you can see the reader edge. And the design in general on the reverse is unchanged as well, with the exception of the differences that I indicated here. So we go through them uh, one by one. Sorry, so again here, but so if we take a look at the leaves here, you will see that there are three leaves with one more in the middle. I'll try to get the camera to focus on that. So it actually looks like a bud of a flower rather than the two leaves uh, from the first coin. Hope you can see that. The second one is on the two reefs here. The gap between them is actually uh, very narrow. They are almost touching. So this is another difference to look out for. Again, I'll try to get the camera to focus on that. You can see that the two reefs are actually almost touching. Okay. The third difference here is the gap between the end 
and the rim of the coin you can see that it's very very close approximately a uh, one millimeter And the final one is on the berries. This one has the same uh, number of berries as the first coin. So 10 berries on the reef over here, the left reef, and nine over here on the right reef. Again, uh, there's a dot here uh, next to the, the year of issue. And I'll just uh, show you the first coin again to show you the differences uh, in the end. So this is the first coin, hopefully I can get the camera to focus. You can see that the end is about 2 mm away from the edge of the rim. And on this one, it's about 1 mm away. And for the reef, sorry, just trying to get the camera to focus on that. You can see that it's uh, a wide gap. And over here, it's a narrow gap, or almost touching. This coin is in quite good condition. I would say uh, uh, extremely fine condition. You can see all the details on the hair. Okay, so we'll now move to the last coin. The third and final variety I have here to show you has the RS min mark on the truncation of the neck. It's uh, right over here. I'll try to get the camera to focus on it. I hope you can see that. The RS lettering here is in Q's and it stands for the Min Master at the Calcutta Min, uh, Robert Saunders. The F min mark on the second coin uh, stands for the min master again at the Calcutta min for William Forbes. As I mentioned before, uh, these uh, two coins, the first, I mean, I'm sorry, the third and the second coin were both minted at the Calcutta min and they have a combined mintage of uh, approximately 93 million. Uh, no design changes on the obverse, other than the min mark. And on the reverse here, the design is essentially the same, uh, with the differences uh, down here. I'll just highlight them to you. Uh, this coin has been cleaned, so you can see the clean areas here. But the tarnishing here makes it easier for us to identify the difference. So the first difference on the leaves here, you can see that there is uh, three leaves. Again, I'll try to get the camera to focus. You can just make out the third leaf in between the two leaves here. 
so it looks like the bud of a flower. Okay, and for the reef here, the gap between these two reef is wide. They are not touching. Okay. And for the end here, again, the gap between the end and the edge of the rim is wide. Approximately uh, two millimeter. Hope you can see that. There are no changes in the number of berries for this coin. There will be 10 berries on the left reef here, if you were to count them out, and 9 on this side here. Again, I'll just point out the dot uh, next to the, the year of issue. Now please note that if you intend to get these uh, 1835 uh, silver one rupee coins, the coins that you find may have different combination of differences, which are different from the one that I pointed out on each of these coins. So the first thing that you need to do uh, when you get the coins is to look out for the min mark on the truncation of the neck of the king on the office. There you can identify whether they came from the Bombay Mint or the Calcutta Mint. Uh, following that, uh, take a look on the reverse and identify whether the coins have the differences that are pointed out. And the combination of those differences will allow you to class the coins into the various varieties that are on record. It's uh, quite an extensive uh, subject to learn. So if you are interested to know more, I'll leave a link to a website uh, that actually is, uh, go into detail about these coins. They will list out all the differences and you can see pictures of uh, some of the differences that I pointed out. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, fortunately, just in time because it just started raining outside. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for my next video uh, where I'll be talking about these uh, 1840 uh, silver rupee uh, coins also issued by the East India Company. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, leave them below. Uh, otherwise, uh, please uh, give me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And don't forget to share and subscribe if you have not done so. Uh, as always, uh, take care, uh, be safe, and have a nice day.